Hey guys, what's up? It's TinyBox here, and welcome to a video where I talk about my driver's test and my psychopath <laughs> uh, test driver person? What are they called? I, I, test driver, we're just gonna call them that. So, before I t uh, tell the story, this is by no means uh, exaggerated or hy hyperbolic. Um, that, I don't know, that's like honestly the only thing I can really say. Uh, is that this is 100% the truth, and I'm not going to be mentioning any names in this because that's not, honestly, I don't really remember his name. I do remember his name, but I don't remember his, like, full name or whatever, uh, nor do I really care to because it's in the past. This was, when I was 18, yeah, it took me two years after 16 to get my driver's license, which I'm kind of ashamed of, but at the same time, it's like, I really didn't have anywhere. I wasn't, like, the kid to go to, like, all the parties or whatever. I was just kind of a lonesome individual. <laughs> Not lonesome, but, you know, not the center of parties and attention and that kind of jazz. So I didn't really have the need to get the license at 16. Um, but anyways, continuing on to the story. So when I was 18, this is two years ago now, I guess. It seems like just last week or something, but honestly, it's just <laughs> crazy. Um, so the first time I actually took it, I ended up failing it because I messed up the parking. I think it was the parallel parking. I think I went too far over the yellow line or something. Something weird happened with the parallel parking. And it was, I don't want to say it wasn't my fault, but I think there was a big majority of it where the car was initially parked to start the thing that actually messed me up, which that's, that's not the point of the story. I just thought I'd just get that off my chest. I haven't really said that to anybody in like two years. Um, but yeah, I felt kind of botched on that. So um, my sister and I actually took it at the same time. She actually ended up passing it, and I ended up failing it. So I was like, oh, wow, that's kind of embarrassing. But whatever. Um, stuff happens. So I feel like a, a few weeks later or a month later, I don't remember exactly how long it is, but it's within the next few weeks or so, uh, I scheduled the same lady again to do this driver's test. Because I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I want to have it with this lady. I've heard a lot of bad things about this other gentleman, which we'll talk about in a minute. And I've heard nothing but bad things from this about this guy. So I was like, oh my god, wouldn't that be a nightmare if I had him? And we specifically planned it out so that we'd have this lady. Or I'd have this lady for the test instructor. Well, <laughs> we get to the, uh, the school where the driver's, uh, the parking test starts. Um... And sure enough, there's this dude, I can't remember honestly what he looked like. He was, I think he might have been bald, he might have had the be a beard or something. I just remember him having like this really aggressive tone. And I was just like, oh dear God, like I'm not an aggressive guy. If you can tell by my commentary, I'm much more passive in real life and I'm not really the outgoing type too much. But this guy was just like... He, he's not drill sergeant levels, but he was, like, below that. Um, but he was just very um, direct and kind of aggressive. And by that, I mean, he was like, what's your name, or whatever. And I was like, uh, yes, my name's Quentin, and uh, this is who I am. And <laughs> he starts talking about football in the middle of us, like, talking about taking the test. And for those of you that don't know my channel, I'm an Ohio State Buckeyes football fan. Uh, and I know a lot of people, like, I don't really care about sports to the point where I'm, like, going to argue with other people about stuff, so feel free to leave comments or whatever, like, this guy, I think, was a Michigan State or Michigan fan, I can't remember which, but he's like, yeah, you got, you, are, you guys are uh, Michigan fans, right, or whatever, and he's like, yeah, it's not, you better not be Ohio State fans, and I was like, yep, we're Michigan fans, all right, <laughs> this is like, I do not want this man to fail me because of some, like, sports bias or something, because, um... Before this, I had gone into this knowing that, like, six months to a year ago, he had been, um, his license had been taken away to, uh, actually give out tests. Like, he was literally not allowed to. Which is like, oh, fantastic, this guy isn't even allowed to, well, he's allowed to be there right now, but he has been banned from this in the past for God knows what. I didn't honestly know the specifics, but, um, going off of what story I'm about to tell you, I can almost guess what the other crazy stories or other people might have been that actually reported this man. In retrospect, do I wish I reported him? Mm, kind of, but not really. Because justice ended up coming to this guy in a weird way. Not a weird way, but I don't know the specifics how it came, but let's get to the story. Let's. I, I don't know. I Like I said, I'm not a very aggressive individual, so it's not like me to be like, oh, you're doing this wrong, I'm going to report you for that. Like, Trust me, 
if if you're like getting if you have enough like problems for on my end or on your end for me to be like yeah maybe we should report this guy you're probably screwing up pretty heftily or pretty badly and the test starts off fine i passed the parking i was like okay uh he let's just do this and i i can't remember honestly the first part's kind of a blur but we just i just remember getting into the car and we're driving around the town and (laughs) there's a few instances while i'm driving that i was like this man is unhinged first of all he starts talking about his family i'm like okay that's great i mean i really don't care i'm not gonna be a jerk and be like yeah can we just talk about not any like anything else other than that like i i don't know he started talking about he's like oh yeah my my uh my uh um daughter his his, uh her uh, fiance or something this in town he does this and he likes this football team and he's a michigan fan and i'm a state fan i'm or michigan state fan whatever it was i was like okay and then he's like you see that game last night i was like yeah, and then my mom's, like, in the back, she's, like, chiming, oh, yeah, yeah, and she's, like, lying, because she's, like, freaked out, too, she's, like, yeah, what's this guy gonna do if she finds out that we're Ohio State fans, and that's not really, like, the the, the big part of the story that I want to get across, like, that's not, like, what we're 100% worried about, because trust me, this guy gets worse as we go on, and I, like I said, I want to stress this, I am not exaggerating when I say this, so, <laughs> the first incident happens when... This is almost towards the end of the trip. Honestly, it wasn't bad, like, 75% of the way through. The last 25%, however, is kind of terrifying for me, because I have anxiety to a certain degree. Like, I can't... It's not like I'm not able to drive or anything, obviously. I'm able to drive. <laughs> thus, I'm taking the... Te- that's why I was taking the test. But, like, if you start, like, freaking me out by, like, saying crazy things when, like, I'm driving, that's going to freak me out. So, this guy says... So, okay, actually, let's set up the story first. Or, so I'm driving... There's a road in front of me to the right where so you can pull out, obviously. So somebody pulls out in front of me, and I slam on my... Not slam. I like put on my brakes lightly because I'm not that far away from him. Or I'm, I'm kind of far away from him. I mean, to, uh, I'm a comfortable distance where I can actually hit the brakes and um, just carefully just not slam into him. And he's like... The guy looks to me, he's like, yeah, next time when somebody pulls out in front of you, what you want to do is you want to accelerate, and you actually want to hit them and drag, and hit them for uh, the insurance money, and I was like, what? He's like, yeah, if you, and then, and then, I swear to God, he said this, he was like, yeah, if you drag them for longer, you'll get more uh, money out of the insurance companies, or the company. I was like, what are you talking about? Who are you? Are you, (laughs) how are you licensed? Like, What? Like, okay, in my mind, I'm the guy that's like, I'm, I'm going to avoid an accident at all costs, and I'm certainly not going to be the cause of one, or try to scam any insurance money out of somebody if, and purposely cause it. Like, like, that sounds like something a sociopath would do. So, excuse the crap out of me if I don't want to be part of this charade. So, we, I just like, I don't know what to say to this guy. I'm just like, okay, whatever, just, I'll take your advice. Next time I'll just slam into somebody because... God knows you've told other students that before and they've actually taken you seriously. Who knows? Like, people are freaking impressionable, you know? Like, who knows? Like, some idiot's like, oh, man, he pulled on front of me. I can drag him for as long as possible because this moron told me. And, like, (laughs) like, what even? And, jeez, man. (laughs) Like, that's just one of them. So the next one involves him uh, threatening my life. (laughs) Ah, yeah. Yeah, who to thunk? Who to thunk? The sociopath that was like, yeah, let's try to kill the person in front of us for insurance money. Like, that pulls on front of me. I was like, yeah, just because somebody pulls on front of me, which I didn't appreciate on the other person's behalf. Like, screw that guy for doing that. But also screw the driving instructor for like trying to literally get me to commit manslaughter or attempted manslaughter. It's like, yo, bro, let's let's not let's not slam into anybody today. I don't feel like dying. I don't feel like killing anybody. I don't feel like doing that. So I'm just like, it's peaceful for a little bit. And then we get to the turn to go back into the school after, like, this 30-minute drive or 20-minute drive. I can't remember how long it was. Like I said, it was all kind of a blur thinking back on it <clears throat> two years later. So there's a three – I think it's a three-intersection road. That might not be right. I can't remember. I'm trying to picture this place in my head. Might have only been two years. Mm, no, because I think there was – was there four lanes? I don't remember. Either way. We're turning into the school, and I have to cross, I think, two lanes of traffic. Or maybe it's just one lane. I, honest to God, can't remember for the life of me. Anyways, the way that I have to turn, I have to stop. 
because there's like 20 people coming my way, and that's not even a joke. I mean, it's probably more like 10, but there's a lot of cars coming fast at me, and I and by no means do I have room to go. So I'm like here for like a good solid like 15, 20 seconds or something like that, and like I have no room to go unless I'm hitting somebody or like getting extremely close to getting killed. Then there's no way I'm going. So people literally start. Like, they're still going. And this guy just, like, he's like, oh, you just gotta go. I swear to God, if you don't go on the next thing, I'm gonna stab you 160,000 times with these pencils. And you're gonna and watch you bleed to death, and I'm gonna kill myself with them. I was like, Jesus. Like, the man literally threatened to kill him, kill me, and then kill himself. Because I wouldn't pull out in front of somebody, like, a bunch of cars. I was like, yeah, this man is the model of driver's uh, training uh, test associates. What are they even called? Test Testers? That sounds really uneducated that I don't know that. I'm sorry. Um, but it's, like I said, it's been two years since I've done it, and one of our good family friends is a, um, driving instructor, and I'm not going to go into any things, like, I was in a driver's ed class, fantastic family, fantastic people, fantastic teacher, had her in school as well as I, I'm not going to go into details because I don't want people to, like, reverse search this and, like, find out who people are and, like, harass people or whatever, but fantastic lady, and she was, um, telling us that this man had been fired before, or put on leave or whatever for six months or a year, however long. And it turns out we talked to her about a year ago, or six months ago, something. I think I had to do it for a college project when I went into her class to read. Um, but anyways, for a college thing. And apparently he has now been completely removed from the program, so... Like, I don't... I just... I still can't believe that experience. And I'm sorry if this sounded, like, really unorganized and really, like kind of not boring but like very like i said unorganized it's because this is my first kind of story video i don't really want to talk about myself too much on the channel where i'm like yeah this is my life and this out no. like i <coughs> oh, excuse me jeez i'm coughing uh like i want to tell stories but i don't want to be like one of those channels where it's like yo the craziest thing happened to me and like they're just complete lies most of the time i'm not a liar so i'm not gonna lie about things <laughs> 10 out of 10 statement right there. I'm not a liar, so I'm not going to lie about things. But I just don't see the point in, like, exaggerating things. Well, I do for people that want, like, clickbait thumbnails and stuff and just, like, clickbait videos. But, yeah, this is the driving test ch uh, taker that literally told me to kill somebody or try to get her insurance money out of hitting somebody and also threatened to kill me and then commit suicide <coughs> while I was driving while also talking about his um, daughter and her fiance and something about sports that I honestly God, can't remember or don't really care to remember. And me basically being threatened. Yeah. Who'd have thought? My first murder. Uh, my first murder. My first um, death threat. That's what it's called. I'd ne never murder anybody. <laughs> my first death threat would be from, uh, from freaking all well, the YouTube comments, uh, would be from a driving instructor. Like, it doesn't get stupider than that. Like, this man was... I swear to you, he was deranged. And like I said, if if you are, like, on that level of being kind of, like, not right, and, and I can see it... Like, I'm a pretty forgiving guy. Like, I don't really judge people by quirks or anything, because, like, I have my own quirks and whatever, and I'm, like, weird in my own way. In <clears throat> my own ways. <laughs> plural. So, like, I'm not the first one to judge th people on things, but... Yeah, this guy was this guy was not right in the head. I I assure you that. Like I said, I don't want to give out any names or any like places or any kind of anything, because I don't care anymore. Honestly, I just thought that this man was not so. Like he just, I thought my story should be kind of told of this, and I want to have this out there. So if I ever like in fifty years, I'm like, oh my god, how did I do my driver's license test or whatever? I was like, wow, that actually happened. I just realized in 50 years I'll be 70. That's really depressing. Man. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, guys. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought. If you want more story videos, they'll probably be like... I don't even really have any great, great stories. I mean, I have a few, but not like anything nuts. I want to do like short stories and stuff that are obviously fictional. But this is completely non-fictional. Like, this is this stuff that actually happened to me. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, keep calm and trust your instincts, and remember, if your driving instructor tells you to, um, you know, drag somebody and or try to murder them for insurance money and also try to kill you and then themselves, they're probably not a very good teacher, and I would definitely report that. In retrospect, I should have reported it, but I was honestly too scared 
to do it because I was like, what can this guy do? Can he like revoke my license? Can he make it so that I can't get my license? Like, I don't trust this guy. He knew our phone number and he probably knew our address from that. So I didn't want to screw with this guy and like have him get him fired and like mess up my life and have him like kill me or something because the man had already threatened to kill me. So I was like, I don't want him to be, I don't want to take him up on this offer. <clears throat> so hopefully he does not remember me if he ever sees this video and hopefully he doesn't know who I am if he sees this video. If you have, shame on you for threatening students of your class. Not not your class, not his class. The class I took was fantastic. The driving test, however, the first one was good because the lady was nice and she was a person. This other, this dude was not. He was very much robotic. Uh, he acted like, I don't know, it was a fictional character, basically. Imagine, like, a movie villain, but, like, not as athletic and kind of older and just, like, drill sergeant, but not, like, with any authority. I don't need, you know, I don't know. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic night or day. Keep calm and trust your instincts, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.